Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter. Thank you so much for purchasing this file. It's so much fun. Uh, it's an axolotl cake topper, but truly it is a water themed cake topper. So you can add mermaids, octopus, um, whatever it is you want, uh, because it's more of just like water bubbles and being underwater. So, all right, let's get started. This file is, we've got lots of fun things. I really try to incorporate um, my sense of style into this. So what I mean by that is like, for instance, the water bubbles. The water bubbles are all very similar, um, but they're gonna be in different sizes and in different shades of blue with different types of cardstock. <laughs> and at least that's the way I'm doing it. So that way you have water bubbles, but they're not all uniform. And it just gives you like a sense of, I don't know, like you're really underwater. So anyway, <laughs> um, and the other thing that I feel like um, that would really describe my style is that I like lots of layers. Um, I like to make it a little extra. So I totally get it if you guys need to tone it down a little bit, whether it's, you know, less glitter, um, less of the sequins, whatever it is. This is this is to give you the base starter kit and then you can add whatever you want. Like we can go in and add mermaids or we can actually add Ariel, the little mermaid, or you can add, you know, like I said, all the other sea animals. But uh, today we're doing an axolotl. It comes, so what you see is what it comes with, like how to cut this. Um, the name you would have to do yourself and the number because obviously that may change and the style may change. So I will show you how to do that in design space in that tutorial. I've cut out all the pieces and we're even going to add, I'm gonna be a little bit extra and do ribbon, satin ribbon on the uh, cake stick. So, all right. Um, let's get started. So let's right now just kind of build all our pieces. So for instance, I like to layer everything. So like the axolotl is going to be layered on top of the background layer. And then it's going to have one more outline on top of that. So it's just lots of layers, lots of similar colors. And I'm going to see if that I'm going to try to move this because I think that that gold, the gold is beautiful. But ooh, it's really shimmering. So let me move, let me move these two pieces because I think that might be <laughs> really distracting. I'm gonna move those two pieces. Okay, um, axolotl. So I like to use the foam tape. This is just from the Dollar Tree. I haven't found one that I really, really love. So in the meantime, I'm using this. And I'm also like um, a little paranoid as to like how well it sticks. So on top of that, I'm also adding, um, I'm using my either my glue gun or barely art glue. Just depends on the piece. So on this piece, I am going to actually use barely art glue and not my glue gun because um, I wanna make sure that my tape, my foam tape doesn't go anywhere. <laughs> um, but the paper is a, it's not, thin thin because it's still I'm using I mean I just love that I can use all this paper from 12 by 12 cardstock shop um, it's not you can feel it it's probably like 80 pound cardstock it's got texture but it's a pale pink so I don't want the glue gun to sort of like torch my paper so I'm gonna go and use barely art glue and what I do is I line it along the foam tape so that the foam tape is stuck in place. And then I put it also on top. But I put it on top of one. I don't necessarily do all of them because then maybe the, I don't know, the adhesive will stick better on that one. <laughs> so let's put this on here. And everything has like a nice outline. Um, so here's another trick or tip is I do like to mix my colors. So I did want something that would pop out from the pink a little bit, so I went with purple and purple glitter. So it's just like a little bit of an outline of the purple glitter paper. So pretty though on this one. All right, so on this one though, I'm gonna turn it around and I'm gonna add the um, foam dots or the foam tape. And on this one, because it's purple glitter cardstock, it's being hidden by the pink on top, I'm just going to put the glue gun on this one. And 
And um, I know, I'm, I hate using this, but I love the layers, so I do it. But man, I hate peeling this off. Okay. All right, so on this one, I'm just gonna take my glue gun and blast it everywhere because it's totally covered and I'm out of glue. Let me pop in a stick. Okay, here we go. All right, so this one is being laid on this piece. And I, you know, I just love doing this because um, I really don't like the the flat look. So even though there's multiple layers, if there's no um, no foam tape in between, then it still lays really flat. So I really like this. I'm gonna show you what it looks like from the side. So see, like your piece has just you know things have dimension to it. Okay, so that's one little guy. This one is so thin, right? But the paper, it's this Mary paper. I don't know, oh yeah, you can see it. So you see how it has that like reflection? There's a lot of depth to this paper. It's so gorgeous. And I used it on the shell as well. So it almost looks like a real shell where like you get that, um, like that oyster pearl-ish like feel. So on this one, I'm gonna use my Barely Art glue. I'm gonna run it all along the thin parts. Now. I usually would use, oh geez, I'm getting glue everywhere. Um, I normally would use my Tombow tape runner, but this paper, it really shows all of the defects. So when I get a little bit of glue on, or the tape, it looks horrible. So that's why I'm using Barely Art Glue on this portion. I know, I use, I use a lot of supplies, <laughs> unfortunately. But there's a reason to my chaos and madness. And then look at this. So we did this banner, so it's in two pieces, two big easy pieces to handle. So even though it's got that thin look, look at that, it was so easy to piece together, right? Um, two quick easy pieces. All right, let's look at the name. The name, same thing. I did gold on gold. I'm in love with that combo. So this one, same thing. It's kind of thin, so I'm gonna put glue kind of everywhere. Oh, jeez. Okay, you can see that. All right. So the gold on the back, it's got this texture. I just love it. Okay, can you see that? It's so pretty. And you wanna just press down, I'm gonna get that. And then on this one, we're gonna layer on top. So we're gonna put a little bit of the foam tape on this one. So on this one, again, because it's that back layer, I'm gonna use my glue gun, make sure it doesn't go anywhere. Then I'm gonna put this on top of this. So pretty. And so you can see I mean, it's just got, it's so simple, right? The colors are so simple, but it's so, so pretty. I love it. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna put that one aside. Put this aside up here. Um, now, I wanna talk about the seaweed. So the seaweed, the way it's designed is not the way I cut it, okay? So I'm gonna show you how to do this both ways in design space. The way it was designed was you would have this piece and then you would have an outline on the back, so um, an offset. 
So it would look like our axolotl, right? So this would be the first layer, and then there's a second layer to kind of give the additional color of the green coming through. But I wanted to show you that you could do that, or you can take the inside what's cut out like this, and then this piece um, you can use or you don't have to use, and then you could just do an offset on this one. So it just gives you, I wanted to, I didn't want the sea, um, the seaweed to kind of overpower this piece. Um, I really wanted to concentrate on the axolotl. So that's why I did a thinner offset on this one and just use the, really the discarded pieces, right? So it's totally up to you what kind of feel you want to go for with your seaweed. <laughs> All right, so let's pull this out. And same thing with this. We're going to just glue it down. So I'm put a little bit of glue. And this green mirror foil paper is so gorgeous. It's like this deep green and it's got beautiful reflection. And I believe, no, it's not. I was gonna say it's in the same family as that purple, but no, it's different. It is from 12 by 12 cardstock, but I thought it was the same. Okay. Now you can easily, and I'll show you in design space, you can easily change up the colors, um, or you can just keep the colors, but put in different paper. Like if you wanted to, for some reason, do like a purple theme, you could totally do that. But we did this where it's already set to go with, you know, the suggested, you know, how many different shades of blue and such. And I feel like if it was any other color, it might be difficult. But with blue, you like I've bought so many different um, like blue packs where you get you know lots of different shades of blue. So I feel like if you craft and you have paper in your house, it is very likely <laughs> for you to have three to four different shades of blue. And it could even be the same shade, but a different texture. So really what I'm talking about is three to four um, combinations of between texture and color. So like you can have a baby blue, like I have baby blue here and baby blue here, um, but one is glitter cardstock and one isn't. Okay, so this is, this is done, but you can see it's so pretty. <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm in love with this, okay. This little guy, we're gonna do this. So let's um, glue down this little shell. And this is same gold as this and the number. It's got like that, I don't know, like um, a really cool texture on it. And the shell looks really delicate, but at this size, it cuts super easily. And it, you just lift it off the, um, the cutting mat and it was fine. So it may look delicate, but I really um, tried to make it so that it's as foolproof as possible. Because I'm all about foolproof. Okay, can you do, it's so pretty. <laughs> okay, so that's done. All right, this piece, because there's enough, you know, um, thickness to this, we're gonna layer. So that's basically my, you know, my little um, thought process behind it is I don't want to have to 
um, make it high maintenance where we're trying to layer really thin pieces. To me, we, we are layering enough. So when there's something that doesn't layer easily, we just won't. We just won't add the foam tape. I'm not going to cut it down to size unless I really, really need to. So on this piece, because it's the gold, I am going to do my Barely Art glue. So I'm doing it along the foam tape so that it's not going to go anywhere. And then I'm probably going to do two. I'm going to let this one actually use the adhesive. I know. Don't ask. I'm just, I'm paranoid and I try to be <laughs> as safe as possible. I don't even know if I'm right. Okay, here we go. Okay, so here's our beautiful nine. Everything is starting to come together, right? Um, all right, so these little pieces, these are our water bubbles. So see, this is three pieces and they're really easy to, to handle because the white is just one big piece, the outline is one big piece. So we're not dealing with small pieces, but what's cool is all these little pieces that we got rid of, you can take the little dots and you can put them somewhere else. So it could be a water bubble for somewhere else just to give you that additional layer if you wanted to. So, all right, on these, these are big enough that we're gonna flip them over and make sure that we add foam tape to all of them. And sometimes like this little circle is not, I don't think it's big enough to handle a foam tape completely, but what you can do is you can use a glue dot. So you take your glue gun very carefully, you make a dot and you let it dry because then it becomes its own dimensional piece for you. So I'm gonna let that dry completely And then later, I'm actually gonna add glue to it and use the glue gun as glue at that point, but then your dot will be um, standing up a little bit. Okay, so here we go. This one, we're gonna put right on top. And I really like just that it's a little bit off balance. So, it, you know, it doesn't have to be completely perfect. It's just sort of like water bubbles. Water bubbles are different sizes and different shapes and not completely perfect. So that's kind of what we're doing here. All right, so this one I'm gonna flip over, put down. Okay, and then this little guy, I'm going to pick up Oops, hold on. Oh, see, it's dry. So it's like a little little thing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little drop on here. Okay. Then I'm going to put it in here. And as it's drying, I'm just going to balance it out so that it's not, um, so that it's parallel. So anyway, you can kind of see the different layers on this. So our first water bubble is done. All right. Um, you pretty much do that for all your water bu bubbles. So I don't know if I'll take the time to do each one of them because there's a lot. We did a lot. But you can see like we did two bubbles together, right? So same thing with this. All of the extras you can like layer on top. It's however you want it to be. But I really wanted this to look like fun bubbles. Okay, so we did the first one. I won't do all of these because I'm now looking at all of them. And it's like, oh, it's a lot. But let's get to this piece. Okay, so this is our background, okay? So I'm gonna move this over. This is our background. We've got our foam. Where did I put my foam? I cut everything out and I got it ready. <laughs> okay. Um, 
my foam and my acetate layer. What happened to it? Oh, it's under here. That's what happened. <laughs> All right. Um, so the kit comes with a double layer of foam because you see together the foam is like this, which let me see how thick it is because I don't remember. I don't remember how thick these sheets are, but I got it uh, at Michael's. Okay. So, okay. So together it's almost a quarter of an inch. So that way we can have thicker um, sequins and whatever. So we're basically going to build our sequins wall. Okay. So the first one, um, you can use, I mean, I've done it so many different ways. I've used here, you know what? I'm, this is, I use the Tombow mon, um, permanent adhesive. And so, actually I'm gonna do it on here. You wanna make sure you get a good seal, right? Cause you don't want anything to fall out. But the foam is designed to be a thick cut. So even if you don't get the full foam piece completely covered in tape, it should be good. But just in case, okay. So flip it over, put it down. The great thing about this is if you saw the way it, it went down, it looks pretty lopsided, right? But it's okay because um, we're gonna have this sitting on top to kind of cover it. And then we've got all our designs on top. So like all our water bubbles. So it's okay if this is not, you know, cause it loses its shape when you start taping and gluing it down. So you can use that, you can use glue. Um, if you feel like it's not secure enough, you can you know run on the inside with um, your hot glue gun as well so there's just so many different ways to do it it just depends on what this is for so this is a birthday present that i'm actually putting using this for it's going with um it's going with the with the cute little it's like a our generation gift like shower like a little bathtub um and so I thought this water theme would be perfect. So I, you know, it's gonna go on her desk. It's not a real cake topper, but if you're really worried about it, once we get here, you can then run if you wanted to, but this feels really secure right now. You always wanna press down, make sure that you've, you've kind of like activated the adhesive. But like I said, it's designed to cover up a a lot of your mistakes. So you can run your glue on the inside if you still feel like you need to, okay? All right, so right now we can start dumping in our pretty little sequins and stuff. So what I like to do is I like to get a jar. These are from Amazon. They're on my Amazon shop because I love these. I use them for like containers, but I also use them to mix things. So look at all the different blues that I've picked out. So all kind of goes with this theme. I also added just a splash of pink because it kind of matches with our axolotl. And then I've got more and I've got these. And these are from the Dollar Tree. It's faux snow. And if you, it, they're out now, so it's October. This is usually for their Christmas stuff. So I'm buying a ton of these because they're, I mean, they just look really, really pretty. So, all right, so let's, I'm going to start mixing it in here until I get like the right consistency um, because sometimes it's hard to, you know, it might come out too dark, too light. You get it. <laughs> All right, let's see. And this part is so fun. Um, a lot of these things are from the Dollar Tree. Like you might recognize th these little beads. Um, and I said the faux snow is definitely from the Dollar Tree. And I might not use, you know, like this whole thing, right? But you 
you can see it's there's no science behind it even though I feel a little bit like a scientist I'm kind of just mixing and it feels really blue right now so I do want to mix in some of my white right here So it's looking pretty pale blue, light blue. So I, this is this color is definitely going to help. This is also from the Dollar Tree, and they're super light. It's like um, I don't know, like that ribbon paper, the the foil ribbon. like that um, my other tip is you want a lighter color background so that your colors really shine through um, I've done glitter backgrounds before and it just I think it takes away from from the from the shaker part okay all right I think we're done I think that's gonna be really pretty so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put tape on here first. Here we go. And I am going to, when I put in the glitter or the sequins, I'm gonna to try to put it more in the middle and not close to the edge so that it doesn't fall onto my tape, okay? Oh. We gotta put in our nine. Oh wait, our nine we're gonna put on the outer layer. My bad, sorry. <laughs> but you could put the nine inside if you wanted to. Okay, here we go. So I'm gonna put this in. Okay. And then I'm gonna put uh oh <laughs> that's what happens to the acetate layer i always lose it oh here we go here's the acetate layer i'm going to put it down and make sure it's sealed really really well going to give you lots of movement and again if you don't feel secure right now you can easily take your um, glue gun and run it along right here okay so that's done we're now going to put this on top so already you're gonna you're going to barely see the back right the in between but let's look at this so perfect, right? <laughs> okay, this one we can layer as well if you want to, or you can just put it straight down. Um, I'm going to use this. And whenever I use this, I do use scratch paper so that the tape doesn't get, doesn't stay on my, on my workstation. Sorry, I'm moving everything out of the way. Do you see the, the residue? That would be on my workspace, which would be super annoying. Okay, here we go. Okay, the nine's gonna go right in the middle. And the nine, I'm going to um, put foam tape. And I put it in a couple places just so that it stays balanced. So it's got support around the whole nine. Okay, peel it off.
Okay, so there's my nine. So now we can start putting things down, okay? So you can kind of um, start piecing things together. And I know that's annoying. There, I'm gonna try to maybe do it at an angle. Okay, so that's kind of high. <laughs> but you see how we're starting to put, um, let's see, oh, I got, I'm gonna start just, you know, like, we didn't do all our foam bubbles, so it's, you know, you can, if you want less green, I would put it behind here. So you see, but you're getting just a little bit of color. Sorry, not like finding a good medium here. Will that help? Okay. And maybe, I don't want it too purpley over there. Maybe like a shell, like on top of it right there, and then just fill it with water bubbles, okay? That's gonna be up to you how much you want. I'm gonna have this little guy over here with water bubbles coming out, and then you just start assembling. So we have we have all these that we haven't layered, but you can see I would put foam tape or foam dots so that your bubbles start popping out, okay? now. Let's talk about once you put all those pieces down. So the banner is centered, right? That's gonna be what we, how we say that it's centered. So I would turn it around like this. We didn't put it down yet. So my nine, let's say it's like this, okay? I'm gonna turn it around and I'm gonna put it on my grid here so that I know where everything is balanced. So I'm gonna move this over so this straight line right here is gonna be my middle piece and I'm gonna line this line up with my stick so that my stick is going to be balanced with the, it's gonna be centered, okay? So then you would just put glue here and glue here and let it stick. Let me show you one more element of this. But this was fun, right? This part is the easiest part. Once all your pieces are together, you're just layering down what you like. All right, this guy. What I like to do with this to make this wooden dowel more fancy is I went with um, this dark blue. You can go lighter if you want to, but you use your glue gun. You're gonna put a little bit to start with up at the top. So that's down. So now I'm just gonna roll this. Then I'm gonna stop because you know, like I'm picking up some slack. I'm going to put some uh, hot glue down onto the stick right here as well. Just be careful that you don't burn yourself. Then I'm gonna continue twirling. Then I'm gonna stop. Add a little bit of glue so that it doesn't unravel on you. And then what's nice is at the end, you could leave a little bit of a runner and then you could put HTV on this and put happy birthday, Merry Christmas, I love you whatever it is to and from or whatever love you always mom or something like that so so many different things that you could do with this which i just absolutely love okay put some more glue down and then you can always check out my pictures too ah i got my finger so the thing with the finger is um the hot glue gun gets really hot on your skin, right? Um, Neosporin, it is instant relief. That was nothing, although I mean, I'll get a little puffy, I think. But one time I was, um, I was doing a pom-pom scarf, so I was jamming the glue inside and I couldn't see where I was doing it and um, I basically stuck my finger into like, 
a giant pile of hot glue gun and I really thought that was going to be like the end of my trip um and it was actually I was making the stuff to go on a trip so I hadn't even gone on the trip yet I thought oh my gosh this is gonna be the worst trip ever like this burn hurts so bad um same night neosporin to the rescue <laughs> all right so I'm at the end when I'm at the end I'm gonna glue it right here and then I'm gonna go straight and run it around And this is where you can, you know, cut off a little bit down and write a little message if you want to. I'm going to cut it. I'll show you. And I don't have my sharp scissors right here. So I'll show you what it looks like. You should have ribbon, like you should have scissors just for your ribbon. See how jacked this is? <laughs> so here you can write a little message or something and do it in HTV. So there you have that. I'm going to show you what this looks like. So here's your stick. Your stick now is so much nicer, right? All right. I hope that was helpful. I hope you love this SVG file. I love it. I'm going to be making it for, I'm going to make one that's even smaller and more for like a, a little cupcake shaker. So you can make this, you know, any size and I will see you next time. Thank you again. Bye guys.